Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about how to make a timer in FFmpeg, and I have an example of it here. So you can see it's counting down. So I will put a link in the description to my FFmpeg playlist, and you can find that video there. I'll also put a link to my notes for this video, so the things I'm typing in, you don't have to read them from the screen. You can just go to my website and copy and paste them. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to give that timer a transparent background. So when we made this, it had a black background, it had a green border. And say you want to lay the timer right on your video. So one of the things we have to deal with there is having a transparent video codec. So I've tested two different codecs here. And the first one we'll talk about is ProRes. So here we have, let me copy this into my terminal. So for this we have the background is white with a zero alpha channel. So it's transparent. And then we do our sizes 240 by 96. That's what I did last time. And then format here is RBGA. So that's alpha or transparency. I'm just doing this for 30 seconds here. And we choose a font file. And this is the text we're creating, which is the timer. The font color I have white, font size 64. And this will center it on the screen. And then for the video codec, we're using ProRes underscore KS. And then we have the name of the file. So I'll run this. And if you see the timer ProRes here, you'll see it's a transparent image. It looks white here because the background's white and the text is white. So to test that, I created a little uh, overlay on image script. So this is taking uh, JPEG, it's going to take our timer video, and it's going to overlay them. So I'll paste this in. Let me do that again. I need to rename this timer. There we go. So you can see here we're overlaying the timer on the image and you can see it's uh, transparent. So I want to give an example of uh, the colors in here in the background. So let's go back up to our FFmpeg command. So you see here we have white for the background and we have transparency. So I, I do want to show that that does make a difference in what you use. And that really should probably just match your uh, font color. So if we type black in here and run this, it wants to overwrite. And then I'll do my merge document. If I open this up, so what you see here is a little bit of a black halo around the text. So I think it's best to use text color and background color is the same and then use the transparent background. That's how I got the best results here. So this may not look horrible to you, but if you want that crisp background, I think it's best to use the same color. I'll invert those so the background's white and the text is black. So here you can see the same thing. There's a little bit of a white halo around here. So now I'll do it with black on black. And here you see it's a little bit crisper around the edges. So another format I found that works is Apple Animation. Uh, it doesn't seem to have as much support as it used to, but uh, it did work for me. So I'll run this here. So that was super fast. And here we have the timer over the background. I'm going to run the original ProRes script I ran. I'll clear my screen. I'll type ls space lh. This will show me the sizes. So this timer here is similar to the one I had in the last video, and these are all 10 seconds. So this has the background on it, but this is h.264. And you see the ProRes one here is 4.1 meg, and the QuickTime animation, and that's also QuickTime run length encoding, RLE. Uh, 680k. So this one was the smallest of the two that supported transparency. But then um, if you don't use transparency, this is better. So you don't want to use transparency unless you really need it. Um, you could try the you know, QuickTime run length encoding one. And if it works for you, I would use it probably. And then if it doesn't work, go to ProRes. So I've tested the ProRes and animation in Final Cut Pro, and that works. 
And I had someone else test these in Premiere and it looked like ProRes worked in Premiere, but the uh, animation did not. So I'll go into Final Cut real quick and kind of show you what that looks like. So I have a project down here, it's just the image. I'll go up here to Import, Media. I'll choose my timer. I'll do the ProRes one. Okay, so I've selected the video I just imported. I want to go to my Video Inspector, and then it says Type. You want to change that to None, otherwise it will fill the whole screen. And then I'll just drag this down here into my timeline, and you can see here's the video. I'll need to set this to 100%. There we go. I film these at 720p, so that's why everything's uh, condensed on my screen. So if I play this, now when you play it, it's not going to show full resolution, but when you stop, it'll render the frame. So you can see you have the uh, crisp edges, it's all transparent. So I don't know if this video will do exactly what you need, but these videos also just kind of teach how to use the tools so you can adapt them to use your, for your own things. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.